Or maybe there's a group of people that evolved to, I don't know, maybe even be more coordinated or maybe even be able to see a little bit better, you know, or just like it could be, it could be something so small. That we underestimate what we believe is elite. What we right. think is elite in fitness is not elite. It's just maybe the ability to gain size. But elite is when you see NFL players, when you see NBA players, when you see track athletes, these people just choose not to lift weight. Mm -hmm. But if they chose to come into this industry and lift weight, they would blow everyone out of the fucking water. I, I, I think agree. even the top bodybuilders, yeah. by the way. I the, agree. And I think like um, there's in each, in each ethnicity, there are so many different versions. Like there's, People that are from, um, like, I, I'm so horrible with this. So if I fuck any of this up, <laughs> please don't clip this and cancel us. But like, <laughs> in general, you know, there's within, uh, within like the white culture, there's so many different kinds of people. I got people like Hapthor mm. Bjornsson, like you have like monsters like that. You have yeah. uh, Brock Lesnar, you know, and, and when they play football, they talk about corn fed white boys, right? Gronk. Gronkowski. Yeah, Gronkowski. Mm -hmm. oh. And there's a lot of guys with a ski name at the end. There's a lot of uh, like the Thor's daughter and the, all these different guys um, from all over the all over the world. Where you see like it's it's pretty obvious when you talk about height. Like mm. when when you talk about height, it doesn't seem to like offend anybody or bother anybody. Yeah, but it's quite obvious. It's like oh well, a lot of people from this country are like six three and up. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people from these regions. Uh, maybe Iceland, uh, Sweden, some of those kinds of places. Germany, Germany. Maybe some of the, some some of these people in some of these areas. Maybe because the nutrition they got, or maybe because of genetics and because of all different kinds of things. Maybe they just evolved to be a little taller. Maybe there's a group of people that evolved to have a little bit more muscle mass. Or maybe there's a group of people that evolved um, to. I don't know, maybe even be more coordinated or Polynesians. maybe even be able to see a little bit better, you know, or just like, it could be, it could be something so small. There's probably yeah. tons of shit that we don't know quite yet. Yeah. Um, in a limp, when you start to see people going to a sport, you start to have a little bit better understanding of it. In Olympic lifting, they have so many talented, like the Chinese Olympic lifting team is so good. They're so good at what they do. And a lot of times it has to do, it has to do with their body size. Like it's a little bit, some of the greatest uh, Olympic lifters of all time are also very large. So it doesn't mean that just because you're like large, you can't be good at Olympic lifting. But some of these lower weight class, maybe a little bit like Mexican people in boxing, some of these lower weight class people in China, they're like, I mean, these guys, you don't really even ever even hear of any of these athletes. They yeah. are so fucking good. These guys are squatting 600 pounds, 500 pounds for reps, front squatting 500 pounds with their ass to the fucking ground, yep. weighing 140, 150, 160 pounds. I mean, it's, it's completely insane. And so I just think it's, it is, it's, um, it's helpful just to know, like there's a lot of different genetics out there, but there's no reason to put a limiting, a limiter on what you can do because again you can get a lot better and if you're somebody that is going to pass on your genes make sure you pick somebody no <laughs> when you when you're going to you know pass on your genes with that kid that you raise there are so many great things that you can provide for that child yeah. to help ensure you're not trying to turn him into a mute well maybe you are mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not trying to turn him into like a real mutant or anything but why not give them all the tools? Why not make sure that they don't, they don't become fat? I mean, not like somebody being overweight, like that's a huge limiting factor. Let's say that the kid wants to play basketball, but now he's 14 and he weighs 200 pounds. It's like, fuck man, it's going to be a lot harder for him to play basketball now. Mm -hmm. You know? So if you, and even beyond that, the shoes that we put our kids in, <laughs> um, being conscious of, of the way they sit and what they, you know, how they sit and what they eat. I mean, what you consume, that's a huge piece of the puzzle. So the, the, there's tons of genetics and then there's epigenetics. And maybe some of these athletes that we see that we think are freaks, we think are mutants or whatever. Yeah. Okay. I guess we can kind of call them or think whatever we'd like, but they probably also spend a lot of time not overeating mm -hmm. and they're probably fairly lean. So it's like, if you want to give a kid a shot, you want to kind of emphasize that they have good nutrition, that they have good, um, like they're actually getting nourishment 
from their nutrition. And they're not just eating, you know, chocolate milk and French fries and mm-hmm. stuff like that here and there, right? Power Project Family, how's it going? Now, we love these fucking legendary tasty pastries. And love you already them. know how good they are, but I want a hot tip for you. I want to give you a hot tip. Number one. Hot, hot heat. When you eat these things, 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. All right. We talked about how it can fit any single diet because it's high protein, very low carb. But if you put it in the microwave for 15 seconds, my fucking God, it will <laughs> it will melt in your mouth. I highly suggest you could do this with any flavor, but if you can get your hands on the hot fudge sundae, oh, <laughs> baby, Andrew, you're the one yeah. who put me on this shit, man. Yes, seriously, you guys have to try this, but please do not microwave it for more than 15 seconds because the inside turns nuclear. But to me, this tastes like an old school chocolate donut. For some reason, when you microwave it, it completely changes the flavor and it changes it for the better. But you guys got to head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save 20% off your entire order. Again, that's at eatlegendary.com. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to this podcast. Yeah. Um, so again, kind of going back to just adding on to what you're talking about. So like for yeah, Mexicans, yeah, there's there's a lot of really, really good high-level championship boxers. Like my uncle, he won the Golden Gloves very like fast. Wow. Um, Your yeah. uncle? Yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. Yeah, the one that told me that soccer was lame. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fuck, you know, it's like, oh, I got to listen to this guy. But like <laughs> even even in uh, in Woodland, we had a guy, Vicente something. He ended up signing with Golden Boy. Um, like he was a little bit older than me. But like it, even in my small ass town of Woodland, in like one of like the worst areas where it's like super low income, there was a gym in there. Like you had to like drive into this fucking ghetto just to get to this even more ghetto gym. But like kids were like... If you started at like 10 years old, it was too late for you. You can still do it, but by all means, like just understand that like it's kind of over already. You can yeah. play a lot of catch up. Yeah. And again, unless you're athletic, like if someone was athletic and came in at 10, maybe they could have a chance. But yeah. otherwise, nope. So like they're, I don't want to say they're bred for it, but like if they come in at five, they're just like, okay, this kid has a shot. Like, and he shows like interest and he's actually, you know, he's coordinated or whatever. Mm -hmm. So again, they're kind of are bred to start doing this from the get go. So a lot of it is going to be genetics because maybe his uncle or his dad was also a boxer and he started sooner. Or it could just be the fact that he caught on and it's like, oh shit, like this kid's actually going to be pretty good. But again, it goes back to like the epigenetics and stuff. And something I always go back to with like Sean Baker, you know, like um, this weekend, my son ate basically carnivore at a table where my nieces ate nothing but uh, it was just like bean burritos, basically. Mm. Um, They're very active. They all play soccer. They're all. Does that make you kind of anxious? A little bit, yeah, because yeah. I was just like, damn, they're eating like no pro I mean beans maybe, right? I think that has a little bit of protein. <laughs> There's Encima eating more protein. Encima's right like now. that. I sent you guys that panda <laughs> eating eating the bamboo, right? <laughs> I, I don't, don't remember. Oh, I'm gonna send it to you now so we okay. can show everybody, but it, it reminded me of Encima. Yeah. But so again, so real quick, uh, you know, Sean Baker explaining to me that like, yeah, you're putting your son in that like top one percent of his age group mm-hmm. by feeding him this way. And I'm just looking around the table and just like, damn, like I wish I could just feed my nieces the same way. But like, that's just one, they're not used to eating that way. So they would have fucking hated me, but my son was doing good, you know? And like, I I'm happy that he does like that. And he's going to continue to eat that way because growing up, like I, I think I'm, I've, I had an opportunity to be able to say I had good genetics, but because I ate like shit and I didn't move, it looks like I had bad genetics mm. because I and was just like stop playing a sport at a certain I stopped point? playing everything, yeah. So like from basically like I could walk, I was playing sports all the way up until like sixth grade I stopped playing baseball because like fuck dude, kids were starting to throw the ball really fucking hard at that age. But you also mentioned that up until that point, you were like the best guy on each team <laughs> yeah, yeah. up until then. Yeah, absolutely. That was so right up until then. So like fifth grade, that's when things kind of started getting weird because the kids were getting bigger than sixth grade. It was like over. But yeah, up until that point, it was like I was either like the one or two best guy on the team, like Mm -hmm. by far, because, oh, I could run straight, you know, we're talking like elementary school. (laughs) So it wasn't like I was like Hall of Fame or anything. And then in junior high, after eighth grade, I stopped playing basketball because the same thing, kids were just like way stronger and faster than me. But I stopped moving and I I never ate good anyway. So like (laughs) I could easily just be like, oh, I have fucking shitty genetics because look at what I look like at, 
uh, senior year or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. rail thin, tall, goofy, whatever. <laughs> but it's like, well, yeah, dude, you, you didn't move and you didn't eat. Like, mm-hmm. of course you're going to look like you have bad genetics, but it could have been the epigenetics. Like it, it could have, I like, could have caused this to happen. Well, and look at when, uh, we've had a bunch of guests come in and show you stuff. You're pretty damn good at mimicking a lot of it. Mm. I remember Graham just showing like, and and I think a couple people have actually just given you a boost of confidence by mentioning something to you. But like Graham was like, oh, Andrew, you could do this. And and Graham uh, went from being oh, yeah, on his yeah. knees to jumping up and he landed on like one foot. And you were like, okay. And then you tried it and you did it. And like, <laughs> I was you, surprised. <laughs> well, you had a total look of surprise on your face. And yeah. Graham's like, yeah, I knew you could do that. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, I, because I have my older brother, that's how I learned how to throw, how to run, how to catch, because I would just look at him and be like, oh, I do the same thing. Hey, if you want to make Squirtle squirt, I know you're enjoying this content. So like, comment, subscribe, and head to the Power Project Discord below. Peace.